Hey, how's it going everybody? Good morning. Um, yeah, so early morning vlog because I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about Helium Mobile and its, um, its network mapping that had some recent uh, changes happen to it. And um, I'll get a screen grab and throw it up here on the screen for you guys to see what these changes are. But just basically um, what, what it's doing now is that it, it shows you in detail uh, your mapping progress. But on top of it showing your mapping progress, it also shows you what um, what would count as, you know, an eligible mapping and what they would now declare as ineligible. So why is this important to a lot of people? Well, you know, if you are a uh, if you are a Helium customer who is mapping to earn um, you know, to earn uh, tokens to be able to apply towards your bill, um, I guess so that way that it's not just, you know, mapping just, just anything. Um, now there is eligible and ineligible um, mapping. So like, you know, if you're mapping an area that you've mapped before, obviously I would assume to say that that would be considered an ineligible mapping just because you've already mapped the area. Um, I was about to be bright. And, oh my gosh, that's super bright. But anyways, however, you know, if it's like a, an area that you have not mapped before, um, then obviously that would be considered eligible. So, and in that way, you know, they are paying out, you know, for like a successful mapping. I guess that's, you know, the best way I can put it. You will see it. You'll see, uh, I think it's like uh, green for eligible. Eligible mapping events will be uh, green and uh, ineligibles will be colored blue. Um, but you guys will already see that in the screen grab. So I just wanted to make this quick video just to let everyone know about it. That's, you know, um, using Helium Mobile service. And uh, yeah, you might see also a change to in um, earned uh, tokens only because uh, the pricing for uh, Helium Mobile tokens has kind of dipped a little. So that's another thing that you want to pay attention to also when you are mapping and you're earning tokens um, to apply towards your bill is that the uh, the price will um, will fluctuate as you know the uh, value of the token fluctuates. Now what if you've already prepaid like you know you've already set up uh, prepaid from your your rewards your earnings and that's already been applied i think um even though that the tokens go up and down in value depending on the value of them uh in the crypto market i feel like that if you've already prepaid it's taken that balance out of your uh, rewards i don't think that they fluctuate that because i mean that'd be, that'd be kind of weird right like hypothetically speaking if you know the price of your monthly uh services say in their crypto in a value of like 4,500 tokens and you prepaid that and they've taken it out of your reward balance because it goes down in value you know they're they're not gonna say okay well now you know 4,500 technically would be in value to 18 dollars rather than 20 dollars i don't think they're gonna go and just switch that up because you've already prepaid that now if you're going to set up the, the prepay and have them take that from your award balance and the price the value of the tokens went down and yeah that that will impact you um i feel like but if they've already taken that balance it's kind of like you know they've already taken the money out of you already they can't just go oh you know the value of the money went down so now you got to add more in i don't think they would do that that would be a little unfair because we don't control the value of it per se to that level so uh but yeah i just wanted to let everyone know what's going on with that um Give some information on it and yeah but anyways you guys enjoyed the video smash the like button you know that helps get this circulated out there for people to find it subscribe if you're new here we would deeply appreciate it but i'll talk to you on the next one peace